I'm going to show you how to negotiate ether channel between two switches using uh, LACP and it's a IEEE standard and uh, we'll also cover PAGP a little bit so port aggregation uh, protocol that's a Cisco proprietary protocol so um, there are two modes uh, for ether channel these uh, LACP at least so there's active and passive so active says Hey, do you want to do Ether Channel? Come on, come on, let's do it, let's do it. And then Passive's like, well, I don't know. If you want to, okay then. And it's the same thing for uh, Desirable, PAGP. So Desirable's like, hey, hey, let's do Ether Channel. Come on, let's do it. And then Idle's like, well, are you sure? Well, if you say so. So one's active in the conversation, and one's like, well, if you want to do it, okay. So those are the two different modes for LACP and PAGP. Um, you can have um, desirable, desirable, and active, active on both sides of the switches, but you can't have passive, passive, and auto, auto, because if both sides are lazy, they're not going to create an ether channel. It was pretty simple to uh, set up. So we'll look at the commands. Um, interface range. So in previous video, I showed you how to do this. We just turned on Ether Channel, but this is um, negotiating Ether Channel. So um, I just picked that was the easiest range. I have two ports on my switches. Um, channel group that sets it up, and we use the number one. I use the number one, and I chose active for the mode for LACP. Now, once you do this, it creates a virtual port. And you'll want to go to that and change settings. Always don't go to the interfaces and uh, do switch port mode trunk. You want it to be a trunk port. And very similar for the other side. So the other side is passive. I chose the number two. They don't have to match on either side. They're just locally significant. And then go to port channel two on the other side. So very easy to commands um, to set up and negotiate um, ether channel. So might as well recap what either channel is. So traditionally, when you open up a switch out of the box and you start plugging in all the things, and you're like, oh, you're so excited. And you plug in a bunch of links between the switches and you realize spanning tree protocol will kick in is like, nope, you're going down. So the reason why it does that uh, blocks ports is because you don't want layer two loops. So spanning tree tries to pr um, prevent loops. So in order to avoid that, um, we need ether channels. So it will group these together as one virtual port, which is really cool. And we should be able to aggregate all our bandwidth. So um, our connections between the switches is much faster. So let's go ahead and actually do it. So I'm on Coco Pamel. Um, before we do anything, let's check out the spanning tree protocol. So you can see out of the box, um, this is not the root switch. So it has port one is the root port towards the root switch. And this one is an alternate block state. So we got one path to the root bridge. So keep this in mind. So let's continue on. So Coco Pamel, go to global configuration interface range one through two channel group two mode passive so you can see created a port channel here's the port channel so let's exit out and go to that virtual interface that port channel and make it a trunk port so easy enough. So let's go to the other switch. So let's go to rarity now, which is rare and to go. Global configuration. If I could type right.
make her side active. So she wants to set up Ether Channel. And it created port channel one because we used one here. So let's go ahead and go to that. Interface port channel one. Switch port mode trunk. And any second now, it should turn on ether channel. You see those uh, port channel interfaces go up. So if you do have any problems, yep, there it goes. So if you have any problems setting up ether channel, Sometimes it's kind of finicky, so you may want to shut down the ports. So follow the same configurations here, but make sure the ports are shut down first, and then once all the configurations are done, you can turn them on with the no shutdown. So you can see the port channel came up. For right now, we're on Rarity. So we're on this switch right here. And you saw um, before the two ports here on Coco Pamel. And port one, I believe, um, if we look back, was the root port. Let's take a look. Probably doesn't, yeah. So port one was the root port. And you can see going back in time, this is what the spanning tree looked like. So we had one and two. So let's go back to Coco Pomel now that ether channel set up between the two switches. Let's check that out. Let's see what's changed, a spanning tree. And you can see this is really cool so now we have this weird virtual interface so now instead of two ports showing up here instead of these two ports we get one virtual port spanning tree treats it as one virtual port and it's the root port root interface towards uh, the root bridge so that's really cool so to see more information you can do show spanning tree um, show ether channel excuse me summary so you can see um all the ether channel groups we're right now on coco pamel so su means layer two in use so it's working you can see the protocol is lacp which uh, we just set up and the ports part of that group so ports one and two so I hope was, this was helpful and thank you for watching.